I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on here. Look at that. And then this. All right, what this is, this is a uh, beehive tree here. It's a uh, big poplar that Derek cut down and it's got a honey beehive in it. And what, what we've done is, is we've got a local beekeeper here. I took and cut the log off. I knew the tree wasn't any good, so I cut the log off on both ends as short as I could get it without getting in the hive. And then he came, the beekeeper came over here last night after the bees got settled down. And see, here's a processor loader right here. After the bees got settled down, then he come in here and he put like a screen on it. And that's silicone, that's white silicone. And he's got these straps on here to hold them bees in there. All right, so what we're fixing to do is he's going back in here. Well, you can't see it because the sun's so bright. He's got a trailer. I'm going to pick this log up with my loader and I'm going to set it on his trailer and he's going to take it. Well, these bees have got to stay with this log for right now because they will not make it through the winter without their hive in there because that honey, that honey that is in there is going to get them through the winter. So he'll take that thing. There's his trailer right there. And uh, I'll get him, I'll get him to stop. That's good. So he'll take this thing right here, this uh, winter, and he will take these screens off and just set it in his house and let the bees do what they want to do. And then this next spring, then he'll split it, get the bees out and put them in an actual box hive uh, because those bees have to have that honey down in there to make it through the winter. So you can see the bees all in there roaming around uh, and everything. So see this side down here is still solid, but uh, so that's one cool thing that we, we try to do is save them rascals. You can see them all down in there. This seal thing here worked really, really good. They all roaming around, but he'll split this thing open and get them out and all that. So just thought I'd show, show that right there. There it is on the trailer now. He's gonna take it home, and these bees will have them a new home now, and they'll. Uh, They'll strive and keep pollinating and keeping the world go around because there's a shortage of bees now, right? Isn't it? Isn't it a shortage? Correct. It's a shortage of bees. That'd be, that'd be correct. How much honey do you put up each year, probably? I didn't. Uh, I just got honey out of one hive this year, and they had about three and a half gallons. Out of about three and a half gallons out of one hive, and all. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's one way we kind of try to keep the environment going so i hope y'all enjoyed this we'll see y'all later now i'm about uh, a foot away from this thing right here and you can smell the honey the honey aroma coming out of that out of the hive down in there but these bees are are neat man see that's a there's a dead bee right there and there's a dead bee right here and what they did oh she's gonna get stung but no, you know, don't slap that oh it don't slap it don't, okay yeah, don't it. okay what they did was i watched two of them come out and they toted these dead bees out and they got them out as far as they could as they could go with them and set them down and you see they're toting see that one right there is toting some cone some honeycomb with him bringing it out and they're trying you know they're trying to survive but they're going to be they're going to go to a new home so they'll be fine and all where they're going to go as mr thomas here said that uh said he'll take this hole down here and he'll take a, a quart jar and boil water and mix sugar in it and then turn it upside down with some little holes punched in it and set it in here in the bees will suck that sugar water out and that'll help them survive but pretty another pretty neat little aspect of uh of what we do and uh and also uh, hope y'all enjoyed all of this here